really sad because I left my LaCroix sitting right... Frick. Oh my gosh, right there. Hello everyone, welcome back to Lone Fox. Today I am so excited because I am going to be revamping an entire wall in my room with a huge collage mural wallpaper situation type of thing. Very Tumblr, very trendy, very fresh, very... Instagrammable. So if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to be part of the Lone Fox family. I post videos every single week and you can get your daily dose of DIY right here on this channel. The main thing that I'm going to be using to collage this wall is this amazing collage kit from Love Tezza. I believe that's how you pronounce her name and I'll definitely link this collage kit below if you want to pick one up yourself. But I just am obsessed with this. This is 100% not sponsored. I purchased this with my own money because I knew I wanted to create such a really cool mural in the background that's going to be very much like the focal point of my room. If you do not have one of these collage kits, I'm also going to share ways that you can pull into inspiration from magazines, you could print stuff off of Tumblr, like there's much more affordable ways to do this, but I just thought that this would be such a pretty thing because they're already fully curated, and guys, these images in here are so beautiful, high quality prints, I'm just obsessed, like so many good ones, I'll definitely share a lot of my favorites with you guys on the screen so you can take a look at them and see what exactly you're going to be getting in the kit. And last but not least, before we dive into this project, make sure to follow the new Lone Fox Instagram account, it is Lone Fox Home, I'll put it on the screen for you guys, just started it, and I'm posting a ton of just inspirational photos over there that are home decor, DIYs that I've created, running polls on the Instagram stories, and just posting a lot of the behind the scenes type of stuff over there. So definitely give that Instagram account a follow and let's just get into this project because I am so excited to see what this is gonna look like. So as you can see here, this collage kit comes with so many beautiful images and I'm so excited to use it in this video, but I definitely wanted to show you guys some alternative ways if you can't get your hands on this collage kit or just don't wanna spend the money. So the second option is just to use some magazines you have laying around or you can go out and purchase them. Each fashion magazine's about $4.99. So if you just get about three or four, you'll typically get quite a few images, probably not enough to cover a wall like mine that I'm showing, but you will get um, a lot of images that you can do maybe like just a little collage on your wall above your bed or something behind like your workstation or whatever it may be. So what I did was go through the magazines and just use an X-Acto knife to cut really closely to the binding of the page and just cut out some images of models, um, makeup. I thought that was pretty, just like random images, full page images are my favorite ones. And then this boss one was insane. And you can also think about adding some trinkets as well, such as little Polaroid pictures, dried up flowers, or in my case, this little embroidered hoop. And the third option would be to print your own images. So on my own Pinterest account, which is linked below, I go and find images that I like, right click, and make sure to click open image in new tab because that's gonna open it as the largest size that it could be. And then make sure to save it into a folder on your desktop. So what I did was go through my Pinterest, just find lots of images that I loved, right click to open image in new tab. That's really important because you don't wanna save it right off Pinterest because the Pinterest file is actually compressed. So if you open image in new tab, it actually kind of makes it the largest file it is. And then you save it at that largest size and then what I did was use Google Docs because this is a free program accessible to everybody and you can put all of your images in here by clicking file at the top or insert sorry insert image and then upload from desktop and I uploaded all my images that I wanted of course you could do a lot more than this and you can resize them on each page um, delete the margins if you want them to be full pages and you can get this either printed at a print shop or printed at your house depending on if you have a color ink or whatever you want to do So I actually think there's going to be a little change in plans. Instead of doing the wall behind my bed, I think I'm actually gonna be doing this wall back here because I realize I film a lot this way. So I think I'd rather put it on this wall so that I can at least get like some use out of the prettiness of it. So it's like in the backgrounds of my videos and things. So yeah, pro tip, um, definitely think about creating video backgrounds as opposed to creating um, a beautiful space because sometimes that's just a requirement. To get started, I bought two packs of these removable mounting squares and it comes with 80 squares per pack. But the thing that I did was actually cut each square in half. So I ended up with 160 squares per pack. These are only $1.99 a pack at Target and they're super strong, but they're also removable. So you can put them on the back of the image. It's not gonna damage the image and it's not gonna damage the wall. So I put these on all four corners of each image and place them right on the wall. And from honestly here on out, it is just very much collage work. Like you're just gonna place things wherever you feel like they look good. That's exactly what I did. I picked images I liked from both the um, collage kit and also from magazines that I pulled out, such as this Boss image. I just love how that says Boss so large. And of course, that's from Hugo Boss. Um, and then I just collage a ton of different images on this wall.
update. I'm looking like a grandma. My hair's gotten even poofier than it was before. The wall is coming along so good, like almost up to the top, almost down to the bottom. But I still have to do all of this section over here. So that's kind of where I am. I'm listening to Haim. But just check out this background, like, oh, you're kidding. So it's a couple hours since I started this project and I think I'm gonna wrap it up now guys and finish off the video because I actually ran out of all of the little sticky things. As you can see, it's confetti now, like everything is gone. I still have so many images left. There are so many to work with, which is amazing because the only parts that I actually need to finish up is just this top section here and then down the side here, which is probably just like a total of 20 images to finish this off. The sun is currently setting, so for me to do this, I wanna get this up for you as soon as possible just so you guys can get some really lovely inspiration. Really, really like this as is, like without nothing. But I'll see, maybe I'll put the mirror over there and see what it looks like. But overall, I'm so obsessed with the way this is looking and I'm really, really excited about it. So guys, I think I'm gonna bring this video to an end and I hope that you really enjoyed this one. Definitely make sure to follow me on Instagram so I can post a full photo of this collage um, wall just so you can see the full exact thing at Lone Fox Home. I'll put it on the screen for you. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be part of the Lone Fox family. I think you guys are gonna love it if you've never been here before. I do DIY projects, all that fun, aesthetic, trendy, home decor style stuff. I'm so pumped to film in front of this wall. How insane does this look like? I'm freaking out. Instagram goals, right? Goals. Anyways, I hope you have an amazing day, guys, and I will catch you in my next one. Bye.